All right, so in today's Sunday solution, we're gonna repair a, a leaking axle gasket. It's time for another Sunday solution. Let's, Let's go. go. My friend Buddy Buxton came to town and stayed with us a little bit in Tennessee. When he got here, we were looking around and we saw his oil on the rim. Apparently it's a common problem with the new coaches these days. So I popped the uh, chrome cover off and there's a gasket laying right there. And the sign of the, it was leaking was all the oil was in there, which Buddy wiped up already a little bit. But uh, as soon as I popped the chrome cover off over here, then we saw that. And I'm guessing that these bolts are never tightened from the factory. Buddy's going to get me some gloves. I'm going to get you a chair. Okay. I need no chair. Yeah, you do. You're going to sit down and watch. You're going to get my hair. You don't have them. You're going to give me a box of gloves? I'll take them. You got them. Let me get you a chair. I had a chair out here, but I'm going to go grab one. Give me a second. All right there, buddy, bud. Where you want to sit, right here? I don't want to sit. Yeah, you do. You're going to keep an eye on me. Well, if you get to where you want to sit, there you go. All right, let's see, buddy. Let's see what's going on with this thing. Are there 15 sixteenths? Well, buddy's actually on his way to Red Bed to get some warranty stuff done, but I don't want him to keep going like this. I'm gonna bring my, uh, my little bucket. Yeah, we're gonna have to check the other side, make sure it's it's not doesn't look like it's leaking yet, but we're gonna make sure it's tight when we're done. And let me mark this before we get any further and I forget. What's up? A metal marking pen. What that does is there's a spline in there and it goes into the rear. And I want to be able to have it as close as possible when I put it back in to make it easier. I'm going to get some paint out of it. Some paint coming out of it. Come on, baby. There we go. Uh, that gives me, when I pull that out, I, I, it'll give me a rough idea where them splines are. Baby. That one wasn't even tight. Did you see that? That baby didn't even tie. Alright, the two washers are behind this bracket. There's no reason for this. These are torqued to, I think, I've read anywhere between 140 and 190 pounds. Specs, I think, are 180 to 190. There ain't no way that's 190 the way this gun's taken. Look at that one. It didn't even try. Like, they never tightened it. Yeah. Now, should I have it? What's that, buddy? This will be good, right? I would have him check the oil. Tell him you had to do a repair on the road. You had somebody do it. I would have him check the oil. That's why I wanted to leave the oil on the rim because I read online, Tiffin won't check these seals unless there's oil on the rim. So leave the rest of this oil. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, let's see what they're going to do. And this is up to you. I don't want to make this decision. They're going to put this piece of paper gasket back in. Yeah. Now, this should hold up way better than this. But you do what you want. I mean, if you want them to put the paper gasket back in, have them do it. 
but I would definitely have them check the other side. I'm going to, I'm going to check it. I'm going to torque them, make sure they're tight after we get done with this one. And, uh, I would definitely have them check the oil, make sure the oil, you didn't lose too much oil. They have to get underneath of it on a lift or they jack it up and get underneath it. I can't get underneath of it. And it's right in the pumpkin on the rear. You got a little bit in here. So I don't know when it went. There's not a lot. Where was your last stop? Roanoke. Roanoke. It probably went on 81 somewhere. Now the downside is I got to pull that whole axle. I was hoping to just pull it out and check the gasket and make sure it's okay. But that ain't all the gasket. There's two pieces there. I don't think it's all of it. I think there might be another piece still stuck to the to the, uh, the hub. That's the only one that was tight. And all these. All right, now let's see if she'll come loose. Yep, she's coming right out. Oh, I don't know. I forgot about that. Don't want to do that. That's what this is for. It won't lose a lot of well, just a little bit. I lost more just now than I got Rammy. I should put the bucket under there first. That should be all the oil you lose pretty much. There's a little bit coming out still when you get under there. You look confused, you all right? No. Why not? So I'm watching the mist. You'll be all right. All right, we're gonna pull this out real quick while that's draining. Oh, she's a heavy something. What do you want me to do? Nothing. I'm going to wipe her down so it ain't so messy. So what we got to do, we got to clear off this flange, clean it off with a razor blade. And we got to clear off here. And then we're going to use this right stuff gasket maker. And we're going to put it all back together. Brand new coach with less than... I don't even know what the mileage, but I don't think he's got... 5,000 miles on it yet. And we gotta go in here and do this. Buddy, hand me that brake clean right there, buddy. What do you want? That brake clean can right there. This? No, the other one with the red thing on it. There you go. Gotta get her good and clean for when we put the sealant on it. All right, now we gotta clean this side. How many miles you got on the bus, buddy? No less than 10,000. I figured about it. See, look, there's the rest of that gasket. At least it ain't gonna be hard to clean up. Sometimes these gaskets, well, this wasn't such a cheap <laughs> gasket that they used. Sometimes they give you a little bit of work getting them off here. But this one's coming right off, flaking apart. They're paper thin that they use. They use the cheapest gasket money can buy. Isn't that crazy? Yep. I've heard that you can hold them up to the light and you can see through them, that's how thin they are. And you can see by looking at that piece. Oh yeah. It ain't very thick. No, it isn't. It's soaked with oil. That's all brittle.
my new gloves. I use a lot of gloves, buddy. I can see that. I didn't pay for one. I can see that too. <laughs> Here comes the fun part, Buxton. Where's our mark? Right there. Oh boy. She's gonna give me trouble, I can feel it. What, my finger? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, funny guy. Yeah. Woo! Not my glasses off, but we got her, buddy. You do that Shit. Yeah. Nope, I'm gonna get her. You ain't taking all the glory. That's right. I know what you're up to. All right, so we got the Buxtons all done. Their axle gasket. Turns out I popped this uh, passenger side one off and just to check it, hadn't been leaking yet. And the gasket is completely blown out of that one too. So I don't know. So we went ahead and sealed that up with the uh, Permatex also. Took it apart, just like we did on this one. We got her all cleaned up. I didn't wipe the rim down all the way, but we got her done. And we'll go from there. Now they're gonna be on their way to Red Bay to get the rest of their uh, warranty repairs done. It's a good thing they stopped because the one that was leaking wouldn't have, probably wouldn't have, probably would have gotten really bad. And uh, the one that wasn't leaking, the gasket was pushed out of, I'm sure would have started leaking and they would have had a real mess. I would uh, strongly suggest anyone that has the Tiffin built chassis to uh, pop those chrome caps off and uh, see if their gaskets are in place or not, or if they're pushed out like these. I'll throw a couple pictures in there. And we'll also throw a couple links in stuff that we used. Still 
look in the closet way back I won't be needing that I won't be needing that oh. I'm ready to fly down 65 Hit the coastline in the sunshine I'm going to find my new high Hit the coastline in the sunshine Hope you enjoyed this video click uh, like and subscribe if it helps you out click on the super thanks donate to the channel we appreciate it and uh, we'll see you in the next one